I started playing, was my dad was a sax player and played, and it was always music in the house. And he had a, he had a, a, an alto sax, I remember blowing it, um, trying to play it. My dad teaching me. I got more and more into it, and as the, as the records went on, my dad, used to, my dad had some great old records, uh, of Elvin Jones and John Coltrane and stuff like that, and Charlie Parker records, and you know, like we soaked it all up. It was there since we were little kids. So it was kind of inevitable we, we kind of, I started playing the sax and getting into jazz, just like my brother Michael plays as well, so yeah, it was kind of a natural progression. I started playing with a couple of bands, show bands and things in, in the early days and I just spent all my money on records. In the, there used to be a, a record shop in the Dandelion Market, uh, Mick Fagan had a place in there and um, every, every Monday <laughs> all the money would go on the records. And it was great, then I met up with other musicians uh, uh, of my own age, Ron Kilfoyle and Connor and Mike Nielsen and people like that. And then as I went on and I met John and the guys and we formed this group. It's been, and this is what I like doing. <laughs> and then eventually I got a gig, which is, I suppose you could say, the gig of your life in a way, it was with Anne in around 84, in the 80s and uh, kind of went around the world uh, and elsewhere <laughs> with that group, uh, with Van playing, on, not all the time, but on and off then. So, But did get a chance to play with some great musicians. Um, and it was, one thing led to another, you know, you got different sessions, doing sessions one week, but then the sessions all dried up. And music has changed now, it's a different vibe, you know, it's, it's than it was then. So, and it's, it's, it's hard to kind of, believe how quickly things change you know so you have to you have to change with it i suppose best you can you know with the way you know digital music and you know all this stuff is the digital age i suppose you could call it we still try and play our music with this group with john and dave and miles and kevin um we try and play as uh in the, in the spirit of the of the of the music, you know, as best we can, keep it live. Mm. Thanks very much. Um, welcome to the RBQ Quintet. Uh, John Murray on the guitar, Kevin Brady on the drums. Um, <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, welcome to the RBQ Quintet. Uh, this is a tune written by John Murray Artie called Fader.
This is a slow tune written uh, by yours truly. Um, it's called Any Moment Now.
This next track is a uh, is one a uh, tune written by uh, one of the greatest. Um, <laughs> this next track is uh, written by one of the greatest uh, jazz writers of the modern era, and his name is Wayne Shorter, and it's called Fee Fi Fo Fum.
Thank you.